When you enter the museum, what you'll see in the hallway are a series of fashion magazines from the period. So you get a sense of how the war, how fashion was covered during the period. Also, fashion sketches by Pauline Trigere, who was an important designer of the 20th century, and she had a long-standing relationship with Kent State University Museum and was friends with the founders. So she donated her archives, of which we've drawn um, a number of these wonderful sketches. Then once you come into the gallery itself, the first thing that you see are the uniforms. So uniforms were a really major part of life in the 1940s. You would have seen uniforms everywhere. Um, so all sorts of people, not just those who um, enlisted and served in the war, but volunteers, nurses, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. So during wartime, the United States imposed L85, which was the rules about how much fabric could be used. So it restricted the width of the skirt, it restricted the use of pleats and cuffs and, and various things. So there were limits to how designers could design, so they had to work within these parameters. And this period was really a period when America broke free of the domination of Europe in terms of fashion design. The next room of the gallery you'll see we move into the new look. So after the restrictions that you see from the early 1940s during wartime, you emerge at an exuberant period of design. And then the final thing that's in there are also accessories. So we have hats, which were a wonderful, playful, fun um, accessory that you see a lot of in the 40s. I think people feel a real connection to World War II and, and to that period, and so it's had a really great response from people who are really interested personally in this period.